Today I'm going to show students how to log into a Google Meet for their class. There's a few steps you want to make sure that you follow. So the first thing to do is to log into your Chromebook or if you're using a different device to open up Google Chrome and log into your account. So you will see your icon appearing here if you're on your email panel. What's really important about Google to get all the features is that this picture matches this picture. If it doesn't, click it. And if you've logged into the browser before, you'll be saved. But if you haven't, you do add. And then you can add your account, and then your pictures will match up. All right? So that's very, very, very important. So that's step one. Once your account matches up, you find your Google roadmap. Google has two roadmaps. It has the square with the dots, and it has the three dots um, in one line. So if you're ever lost in Google, click one of those and that will likely get you to where you need to go. So for today, we're going to click on our main Google roadmap, our Google Apps icon, and we're going to Google Classroom. So all your classes will appear um, right here when you do that. So you just need to find the class that has um, your, your, your scheduled session. I can't talk. So you click on that class and your teacher will probably post something that says new meeting as a material or they'll post an announcement with a link. So if I click here on Miss Mann's post, I see there's a class video meeting. I would just simply click on that if I'm joining the class live. All right, so I have a minute to kind of get myself together before I join. And so likely you want to cut your microphone off unless your teacher asks you to turn it back on and then check your surroundings, you know, make sure that you know, little brother isn't running neck in the background. Um, and then once you're all set, you can hit join now. Now, no one else is here because this meeting has already happened, but I did want to show you a few things that I've activated on the student end. First off is grid view. This allows you to see everyone in the meeting and you can choose highlight speaker. And so if the teacher's talking, the teacher will have a box around them. Or if another student is presenting or talking, then the student will have the box around them. So this is a great option, a great tool to use um, to get everyone in one screen. So that's active for you guys. And then we also have Nod. This is a new extension. So this allows you to raise your hand and allows you to give the thumbs up, right? Just don't go crazy with it. You go crazy with it, then we're gonna have that, you know, but very helpful for hand raising, okay? So these are just some great, great tools you might want to be aware of. So that's how you join the meeting. When you're done, you just hang up. Yes, I would say like you do with a phone, but I guess most of you guys aren't used to the phones. You actually had to physically hang up. Um, I will show you closed captions. I like having the closed captions on. Um, this will just print what's being said on the screen. And I think that's very helpful. So that's another option for you. All right, so I'm gonna hang up now. So that's how you join the meeting from your teacher. If you missed a meeting, right? Um, maybe the time just didn't work for you or you forgot and you didn't make it to the meeting on time. The teachers are also posting their, their recordings for you. So I'm going to pop over to Miss Whitlow's class because I know she has her recording posted. So you missed this live recorded session for her, but no big deal. You can pull up the recording of the meeting so you can still get that lesson and still get that um, information. So if you don't make it to the live session, make sure you head back over to Google Classroom and pick up the recorded session. Um, on Google Classroom, obviously, if you, if you can't find something, if the feed is crazy, going to classwork will usually help. Most teachers have really clear topics on the side, and you should be able to find either that link to the live session or that link to the recorded session. So um, the other way that you might get a meeting code is the teacher might send it out in an email. You can always copy and paste the whole meet code address, and that will get you there as well. So, um, or you can come here and join, put the code in. But the easiest, most reliable way to make sure that you're going to the correct session is to go through, through Google Classroom. So you log into Google Classroom. You can do the th lines to get all your classes in a row. And you can easily find that link either on the feed, right, or under classwork. Again, if you, yes, you look at this, this is great. You know, Miss Frazier has easy, easy peasy Google Meet. So just look for that. And if you can't find it, reach out to your teacher. 
Um, Google Meet does work on all student accounts. So if you run into an issue with your actual Chromebook, maybe your video is not working, maybe um, the teacher can't hear you that well, there's something wrong with your microphone, you know, make do as best you can right now. And then when the school um, is reopened for checkout, we can get you set up on a new one. Um, and if you have any other questions, you can email Panda Tech um, or your teachers because we are here to help and we miss you. Have a good day.